I thought we were gonna rub that front bumper. We may <laughs> Well, good thing my hazard lights came on. Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Beam NG with a M5. But not just any M5. A drift M5. So we're gonna go full send on this. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all in the description box below. Well, let's get to it. So I say this is Drift M5 because it is rear wheel drive, converted, manual trans, and some uh, grippy drift tires. So we're going to go full send first here at Drift Playgrounds to get a full shakedown of it. And then we're going to hit some mountain roads with it. We got some BBS wheels on there as well. Oh, all right. So we're going to try and uh, shake this car down a little bit. And off the rip, this thing handles quite nice. As I say that, we, you know, send it. All right, so let's uh, try not to do that again. Right here. Because I throw a little bit into the brakes. We do have adjustable brakes. Oh, okay. We do have brakes at 80%. Didn't think it was going to go, but it, it went anyways. It's a really big car to be drifting. And I say we're going to probably take it some mountain roads next. After we get a little bit of a shakedown with it. been trying to find some new mods and stuff like that to make new drift cars and uh well we found this one and we went through and did some tire custom tires with friction levels and stuff like that on here and uh real drive and now we uh got a big potty m5 that is uh not doing half bad here I thought that was not gonna work, but quick transition. Okay, nope. That did not work. It's definitely a lot of fun here on beam with some new drifting and stuff like that. Like I said, I've been trying to find a lot of drift cars or make new drift cars in different configurations that handle quite nice. Well tap it, nope to maybe start doing a lot more here on beam. Ooh. Let me try and wall tap. So close. Let me try and ride the wall on this one. The guardrail. Oh. I mean, that's a little bit of a I feel like we just broke our front wheel. Oh yeah, we bent the front wheel in. It's not gonna work out too well with a bent wheel. Woo. So, with the pit wheel, that did not work out too well. So, this M5 is definitely a lot of fun. I don't think the damage models are quite great. That was a wall tap. On it yet. It's a very slow roll. There's a lot of grip there. This thing does have a welded rear div. Yeah, I've done a couple wall taps, and I don't think... If I smack the back, is it gonna... Oh, oh, I mean, I guess... Okay, I mean, I guess we do have some damage. Damage physics on this car. Oh. Um. Yeah, we got some damage models on this car. So if you guys are enjoying the BeamNG content, let me know down below. I know I do have an E92 on here. As well, that I recently discovered from Slap's video, so we're going to probably bring that E92 out and try and get a drift configuration of that going, because we all know my love for BMW as a BMW tech and an employee of BMW. Overall, I'm slightly impressed with how this car is reacting right now with just drift suspension, or drift uh, steering ratio. 
and some adjusted tires. Clutch kick that one, there we go. I'm gonna clutch kick this one. Definitely can just throw clutch kick with this car though. Don't really need to use handbrake. Oh, maybe we may have flexed the back bumper slightly. As I said, we smacked the front wheel. So let's change tracks and go hit up a mountain road. Because what other way fun would we have than to hit up, say, a mountain drift road and see if we can't get this big body of five to work well in the mountain. So we're going to load it into the mountain and we'll see what happens. The BMW AG M5 F90. We're going to bring that in. So the factory, obviously the factory F90 is all wheel drive and it's a, uh, automatic transmission, but we have one that is set up for drifting. It has a carbon roof and all kinds of fun gadgets as well as it being rear, rear wheel drive. We're going to turn all that stuff off. I got to get this thing turned around though. So we're going to try and drift this on the mountain. Not sure how this is going to go. And we're just going to go full send. It's a very tight mountain road to be using this big car. Definitely save that with that Moza handbrake pull. Oh! We definitely bent a rear wheel with crab walking. Oh yeah, it's definitely bent. Try and do this with a bent rear wheel. It snaps back real quick because of that wheel. All right, so let's see if we can't just flip this car around. Just blowing fire out the exhaust on this car. And now I want to drift there using all of the boost. Almost, almost died. Save the car though. Surprisingly doing not too terrible. Thought we would be doing way worse with this car on this road, but We throw it way hard like this when the car starts to uh, get a little bit uh, a little bit squirrely in transition. Throwing a lot of weight with this car. Oh, I thought we were gonna rub that front bumper. We may. Good thing my hazard lights came on. I don't think we're going to be able to get out of that. Alright, we are able to get out of it, so... Um... going to try and finish this road up. Every time we hit something really gently with this car, it likes to break the front end right away. So this car is not designed to uh, impact anything. No! 
And we don't have a lot of steering angle. We don't need that front bumper though. Bye front bumper. See you in the other world. From the other side, we're gonna definitely need a bit more tuning on this car to make this car very perfect. I wish we could get more steering angle out of it like on some of the other purpose drift cars. But we cannot adjust steering lock. I wish we could adjust how much lock that this car would get in Ackerman. I mean, we're going to try and run that gutter. That didn't work out in our favor. Tree! That's guardrail! I mean, we kind of exposed both our intercoolers. We are almost, oh, almost dead is what we are. That was a hard hit. <laughs> so I think that's going to about do it here for this episode here on BeamNG. If you guys are enjoying this, you guys want to keep seeing BeamNG, let me know down in the comment section down below. If you guys have cars, mods that you think I should try, let me know the links uh, on Instagram or Discord so I can get them and maybe uh, give them a full rip. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.